Our next logic gate is called the NOR gate, which is a contraction of NOT OR or NEGATED OR. This is a special gate because it, like the NAND gate, can be used to create all the other logic gates. As with the other videos on logic gates, we will be examining its symbol and operation. Next, we'll look at its truth table and timing diagram. Then, we will compare the NOR gate to a gate configuration with an identical truth table, but with a different purpose. And last, we will look at the Boolean algebra use of the NOR. So let's start with the symbol and its function. This is the symbol of the NOR gate. Notice that it is almost identical to the OR gate, except for the little bubble on the output. This bubble indicates negation, or inversion, of the output. Essentially, this is an OR gate with an inverter attached to the end. So the NOR gate takes the output of the OR gate and inverts it. So the logic goes like this. A NOR gate produces a low output when any of its inputs is high. It produces a high output only when all the inputs are low. So let's look at these combinations. As always, we have 00, zero then 0, 01, next 10, and finally 11. The first gate has inputs 0 and 0. On a regular OR gate, this would produce an output of 0. This gate inverts that, so the output is 1. The next is 0 and 1. An OR would produce a 1 on the output, so inverting that, we get 0. Next is 1 and 0, the mirror of the previous gate. Again, this one will have an output of 0. Finally, we have 1 and 1. An OR gate would produce an output of 1, so this produces the inverse, 0. Now let's look at the truth table. We have our four combinations of two inputs as usual. We also have the OR table so we can compare. Two inputs of 0 gives us an output of 1. An input of 0 and an input of 1 gives us an output of 0, so that's the next two values. Finally, two inputs of 1 give an output of 0. Compare this to the OR gate truth table. Notice that they are exact opposites. This must be the case, since the NOR gate simply takes the OR gate's output and inverts it. Now for the timing diagram. We're going to look at the NOR alongside the OR. Look at the output waveforms. It is apparent that these two gates are inverses of one another. They mirror each other perfectly. Now let's look at a different timing diagram. We're going to make a truth table of this diagram and then we'll draw the output waveform. So let's place these values in the truth table. Now we can find the outputs of each time segment. Our truth table is now complete. All we have left is to draw the output waveform. Not so hard now that we have done this a few times. It is getting much easier, right? I will reiterate here, if you bring up the output waveform of the OR gate with the same inputs, you will get the exact inverse of our output waveform shown here. This is why we call this the negated OR. Just like the NAND gate has a twin gate that produces the exact same truth table, the negative input OR gate, so too does the NOR gate. You can probably guess what this is. If you said to yourself, a negative input AND gate, then you're right on the money. This gate has inverted inputs on an AND gate. It will produce the exact same truth table as a NOR gate. So the question we must ask ourselves is, when do I use one and not the other? Just like the negative OR gate, the term negative AND is meant to express the fact that the inputs are in an active state when they are low. The NOR gate like all the other gates we have looked at up to this point, have inputs that enter an active state when they are high. Think of it like this. In active high, the light turns on when a signal is present. However, in active low, the light turns on when there is no signal present. Here's the difference in use of these gates from the textbook. As part of an aircraft's functional monitoring system, a circuit is required to indicate the status of the landing gears prior to landing. A green LED display 
turns on if all three gears are properly extended when the gear down switch has been activated in preparation for landing. A red LED display turns on if any of the gears fail to extend properly prior to landing. When a landing gear is extended, its sensor produces a low voltage. When a landing gear is retracted, its sensor produces a high voltage. Here's how we implement the NOR and the negative AND to make this system function properly. When the gear is retracted, the sensors output a high signal. The NOR gate will output a low and the red LED will be turned on, indicating that the gears are retracted. This may seem counterintuitive, but remember that the bubble on the output means that the gate is active when in low. Therefore, the red LED is active in this state. At the same time, all those high signals get inverted to low signals before being sent through the AND gate. This is how the negative AND gate works. So with all, or even just one, of the landing gear sensors retracted, the green LED is off, indicating that the landing gear is not extended. Now, when the landing gear is extended, the sensors output a low signal. The NOR gate will output a high, which is the non-active state of the output, shutting the red LED off. The low signals that go to the negative AND gate get inverted to high and then ANDed. All landing gear must be extended for the output to be high, switching on the green LED. Okay, that may have been quite a bit to take in. I hope I explained it well enough. If you are confused about the active low and active high operation of an input or output, then please see my video from section 3-1 on the inverter. The link is in the description. That leaves us with only the Boolean expression. If you've seen the previous video from this section on the NAND gate, you may be able to surmise the Boolean expression for yourself. Unlike the NOT, AND, and OR gates, the NOR gate does not use one of our traditional arithmetic symbols. Instead, like the NAND gate, it is a combination of NOT and OR. We apply the OR operation to the inputs. Here it is, A and B as usual. Then we negate it by placing the inversion symbol, or NOT symbol, over the entire expression. This is the Boolean expression for NOR. Now, what about negative AND? The negative AND gate inverts the inputs and then ANDs them. That is, they use Boolean multiplication. So we take inputs A and B, place a bar over each one, but not both with one bar. Then we multiply them separately. Do you see the difference? The NOR has one long bar that covers the entire expression. The negative AND has two bars, one for each input. The NOR is added while the negative AND is multiplied. That will wrap up this lesson on the NOR gate. I hope you have seen all the videos up to this point as they definitely build off of one another. Get ready because in the next video we're going to cover the exclusive OR or XOR gate and the exclusive NOR gate. I don't like saying XNOR, it just sounds funny. Anyhow, until next time.